it's gone. My best friend has left me. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? And home life is a joke. David's a good man. Dad was a good man. Your mother. She's hurting, Chloe. You're not my father. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Am I wrong to think like that? Oh, good. You're here. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Oh, shit. That can't be the same girl from last night. Hey, dickhead! Last night was amazing. Come on, hurry up! <laughs> There's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Don't be surprised if one day I'm just out of here. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Let's do something fun. Fuck yes. Rachel, run! What the hell? Next time, mind your own business. Calm down. Walk away. Whatever's going on between us is special. You can't leave! Why not? Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. What's going to happen now? No fucking idea. But one thing I'm sure of, it all began when I met her. Something is coming. You can feel it, can't you? You can feel that we are creeping towards the edge. I know that you are out there. And I know that you are in pain. But my children, I'm here to tell you that suffering is a choice. And you can choose a better path. We want you. We accept you. And we will take you. Hello, willingly or not. <laughs> and some of you may fight. But in the end, you will thank us. I am your father. And you are my children. Peggy 3 Ludzie mnie pytają, dlaczego zostałeś farmerem? Wtedy tłumaczę. Kocham dźwięk ryczących silników. Woń benzyny. Radość płynącą z prowadzenia 14-tonowej bestii. Uwielbiam zapach kolumbijskich plantacji kawy. Spokojny nastrój ryżowych pól w Japonii. Odprężającą atmosferę włoskich winnic. A przede wszystkim przepełnia mnie duma, że mogę prowadzić największą farmę świata. Więc gdy
gdy ludzie mnie pytają, dlaczego zostałeś farmerem, odpowiadam, dlaczego ty nie? What's your plan? It's my plan, and I decide what goes down. You got that? Yeah. My name is Joseph Fares, and I'm the writer-director of A Way Out. A Way Out is a story-driven co-op game. It is designed, played, and experienced only in split-screen co-op, which means you have to play the game with a friend, either online or on your couch. The game starts in a prison. You play as Vincent and Leo. You and a friend will get to know your characters and unfold their story together. You don't know anything about me, man. Maybe not. But Harvey killed someone very close to me. With or without you, I'm going after him. Let me show you some of the scenarios in the game. On the right side, you see Liu, who's already in prison. On the left, you see Vincent, who just arrived. Now, if you look to the right again, you can see that Liu can be controlled while Vincent is in a cutscene. Here is another one. Vincent and Liu are now in the laundry room. Your goal is to smuggle sheets using a laundry cart. You can approach the scenario in different ways. Either get to cart with Vincent. You know, I got a good pack right here. I think it's got your name on it. It's uh, broken. I don't know. Or with Leo. Get over here, you idiot. Yeah, but I think those two guys are just about to fight. Uh, what the? What? Who's him? In a way out, you will experience something new all the time. Everything you do in the game is unique for that scene. We want you and your friend to be focused and engaged throughout the entire story. But let me tell you, this is just the beginning of what you will be experiencing in A Way Out. Give me a gun! <laughs> Relax, man, I got this. Peggy 16.